everyone welcome to another great video we had so much success with our top five flies for trout that we're going to do a top five flies for steelhead so before we get into this video make sure you hop down below here subscribe to our channel like this video and put any comments below we know that there's only five in this video just to make sure that you have some of the essentials out there and there are plenty more steelhead flies so be sure to share with us what some of your favorites are that we might not have gone over today so today we're going to go over our top five flies for steelhead so um all of these flies before we get going are on our website so if you're interested in purchasing any of them go ahead and hop on our website you can pull down the collections to flies and we'll have all of these for sale so we're going to start at the beginning because that's always a great place to start and number one for top five flies for steelhead is a glow bug so you can see this here we'll pop a picture up for you as well we have a bunch of different styles in these in sizes dots blood dots um, bead heads on them and in terms of steelhead flies you can't go wrong with a good egg pattern and the glow bug gets that done for you so uh, these fish if you look at steelhead overall they're very migratory but their pur purpose of their migration is to spawn so whether they're successfully spawning they do in some great lakes not very well in others that's their purpose and there's a lot of eggs in the system so be sure to have a good egg pattern so number one for top five flies for steelhead is a glow bug number two we're going to keep with the egg patterns just to be able to show you guys um, a handful of different things out there and this one here as you can see closely is the crystal meth pattern uh, don't get upset it's funny we have an online ad where we advertise our business and people are like that's a horrible name for a fly we didn't make it up we just sell them so there's my rant for the day um, but crystal meth all it is is a sucker spawn which is also a great fly we didn't include it into here um, it's a sucker spawn uh, with a flashy type material uh, called a crystal braid that turns into a bunch of bumps and looks like a uh, sucker spawn. So when suckers spawn, their eggs kind of come up in a clump. And all this is is a clump of eggs in a crystal braid uh, material. And this is tied in a bunch of different colors. We have white here, white, orange, pink, chartreuse, a uh, handful of other things. Blue can work really well at times too. So hop on here, make sure you get a handful of colors for those and uh, onto our website. And that is number two. Make sure you have some egg patterns. If you show up for steelhead fishing without egg patterns, uh, you might catch some fish, but uh, you'll probably catch a few more if you have some egg patterns. So those are our two must haves that you have there. Number three is a local pattern. And this is a streamer called the White Death Streamer. We have them in white, but we also have them in olive. Uh, this is actually created by a guy, a local guy named Jeff Blood, who I know. Uh, this is actually intended to be dead drifted, not stripped or swung. You can have some success doing that. But this White Death Streamer can be absolutely deadly because a lot of the forage base in the Great Lakes, especially Lake Erie, where we are here in Pennsylvania, is the Emerald Shiner. And this imitates an Emerald Shiner that has been kind of tossed through the current and just drifted through. So you can drift this under an indicator in tandem with another egg or another streamer, another nymph. Um, but this is a phenomenal fly to make sure that you have in your box. It's a very simple tie as well with just a zonker strip, a um, mylar tubing for the material uh, on the body. And then one of the keys to it is a little bit of a red or an orange tag towards the bend of the hook in the back um, where the mylar tubing comes in. So white death streamer, a must have. On top of that, we'll keep it with the streamers, a woolly bugger. So woolly buggers in olive and black and brown and white are kind of a absolute go-to. This one here I really like. This is called a crystal woolly bugger. It has a little bit of extra flash on it. And this can work wonders, both def dead drifted, stripped, swung, all of the above. I always say there's no wrong way to fish a streamer, but sometimes the fish might prefer one way over another. So if you're really uncomfortable with how your presentation goes, throw a woolly bugger on. I can pretty much guarantee at some point in time you're going to catch a fish with it. So go with a woolly bugger. Higher water, fish a bigger streamer. Lower water, fish a smaller streamer. Um, I usually range from about a 4 to a 10, depending on uh, the type of water that I am fishing. So check out a 
olive woolly bugger and this one is the crystal and this actually has a cone head built, built into it as well to get you some added weight sometimes the water flow is really high and fast and you need something to help get it down on top of maybe a couple split shot as well last but absolutely certainly not least in top five flies for steelhead is a black stone fly so this one here in particular we really like and we'll probably show all these flies up uh close up is it has an orange bead so we call it our hot head and for some reason the last couple of seasons we've really been fishing a lot of these in a couple different patterns but particularly the black stone fly and it has just been catching a lot of fish than your regular stone flies the bead headed flies but that one with an orange bead on it seems to really pick up a ton of fish for us um, so there are a lot of other nymph patterns at work but the black stone fly in particular seems to be the one that tried and true over a lot of years of fishing up there, both for myself and a lot of other anglers, that picks up a lot more fish than any other pattern out there. So those are our five flies. I tried to make it, make it quick today because I know I can talk a long time and, um, and have some extended videos. But we wanted to make sure that you're prepped for the season. So the steelhead will really start running sometime in September, depending on your waterway. Some of the bottom release streams like the Salmon River up in New York can start a little bit earlier with their salmon runs. But the steelhead will really start to kick in as early as mid to late September, definitely October. And you want to make sure that you have these five flies in your box. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. But before we end this video, make sure you hop on the bottom here, subscribe to our videos so that you can be notified when we have new ones coming out soon. And also you can see the links to all of these five flies below and you can hop on our website and purchase them for yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video today. We really appreciate you guys spending a few minutes with us. Subscribe so that you can be notified for all of our future videos and hop on our website. Not only do we have these five great flies here, but we've got great fly boxes like this one. We have our own rods and reels. We have full steelhead setup kits called our target species. So you can hop on there, get a rod, a reel, line, backing, a leader, and a box of four dozen flies. So you're literally ready to go out and fish. So we have those for steelhead as well as a couple other types of fish out there as well. So hop on our website, check all that out. If you need us for anything, reach out to us. Thank you again and have a great day.